guys welcome back to my channel garden a little i was just doing some yard work just wanted to get it done and then i thought why don't i just turn on my camera and show you exactly what i'm doing like i said i'm going to be collecting some leaves and putting them into my um chicken run because that it entertains them and then they create more beautiful compost so i am raking up leaves putting them in the bag and then giving them to my chickens they have been um, they went through the glass, grass clippings real fast and so they're kind of bored now and so all of these leaves give them something to do and there's any bugs or anything like that, they're going through it. That's a little uh, morning exercise for you here. And the ladies are happy and they're creating compost for me. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is very controversial. People advise not to do it specifically, uh, is cleaning out your chicken coop. Um, a lot of people say just deep bed, meaning just like pile on, um, mulching, shaving, whatever it is, um, as high as possible in the coop and they'll keep the chickens, you know, warm and everything and so i don't have lime and all the warmth i feel like will attract more disease so i'm gonna go ahead and clean it out we do have a heating pad not a heating lamp and so i feel safe heating my chickens if they need to be heated uh, but there's seven of them now rather than two so i feel much better for them just to cuddle up a little bit together so here in the scoop, I have a water. Um, it's standing on the heating pad that automatically heats so the water does not freeze. And then you can see this whole layer of poop here. There is, is their heating pad that they roost right next to. And we put this board right here because they kept putting all the mulch and everything into the water and it always gets um, dirty. So today we're gonna clean this place out. lady you want to lay some eggs already and when you clean that out like that you sprinkle lime and then you deep bed and then you don't bother the chicken coop forever <laughs> like until springtime um, so I don't have lime so I'm gonna air this out a little bit and then put deep bedding and then if I need to I'll clean it out again I know you girls want to lay some eggs I'm sorry to bother you this is the only time I got to clean out your chicken coop babies um, let's clean their water, set everything back up so these girls can lay me some eggs. Alrighty, here's the water, fresh scoop. Girls are laying eggs. All right, I'm done bothering you guys. All right, now that they've stressed out a little bit, um, I cleaned out their coop, they're happy, time for treats. That was a big chore on my to-do list. I'm so glad that I got it done. The chickens are still coming in and out. Everybody's safe. We installed that um, automatic chicken door. And so they are being monitored with that, kind of uh, being shut in during the night um, and are able to enjoy some sunlight during the day. I keep giving them like chicken scraps, things like that, uh, kitchen scraps, things like that. And they are, you know, still loving life, still laying eggs. A few of them are going through their molt uh, period. That's when they're naturally just um, 
uh, clean out their feathers, basically like drop their old feathers, grow some new ones, and they stop laying eggs at that time. We're not providing any artificial light or anything like that, which you can do, but we think that natural rest is a good thing for them. And so hopefully they enjoy lots of new little buggies, little things in their leaves and their treats. And let me show you what's been going on in my garden. So the nights have been really, really cold here and I've eaten most of the kale, which was delicious. Now it's kind of, you know, even here the frost can get them. It gets pretty cold around here. My beads are doing okay. They are a little puny. Uh, definitely frostbitten and then so is my lettuce let's check out my hoop house I have not seen what's going on under there in like a whole week I'm not lying I have not looked underneath here for maybe a week and a half so this is gonna be as much a su surprise for you as it is for me like I said the nights have been down in the 20s here with wind gusts that bring it down to like teens um, so I'm interested to see if anything under here is still alive. Let's see here. Let's do a little peek first. It's not bad, but it's looking sad. You know this. We're just gonna do a little peek. I'm not gonna uncover the whole entire thing just because I don't want it to lose all the heat that it produced. Let me bring you in a little closer. So coming over here. We have kale. It's looking a little bit sad. The ground is nice and moist. So I don't think it's the moisture issue. I think it's just cool, cool weather. But my, um, I think these are my collard greens. They're doing really good. As you can see, the rest of my plants are doing real good too. Here we have spinach that is coming up, kale, the next row over was supposed to be carrots, but as you can, you know, the carrots are very finicky. And then lettuce. Here it is from the other side. My lettuce over here. That's the one that I did not bury. This row right here, nothing came up because I buried the seeds because I completely forgot that the lettuce needs lights to germinate. Um, so my lettuce over here is doing actually really good. And then look how pretty that looks. Everything that is not covered is pretty much dead. Here are my irises. Um, you know, they're going to bed here. And then I had a few cabbages planted. They came up with the warm weather, but they are dying back, way too cold for them. My sweet peas, they are turning to mush slowly because of how cold things are. I might actually harvest these ends and cook them up like spinach. They're actually really delicious. Well, I might be too late. Yeah, they all kind of are squishy. And then here are my other trellis. Yeah, things are looking pretty sad. This is, this is very squishy, very squishy. So the frost definitely got these guys for sure. Here in Ohio, you can't do much without cover or a greenhouse outside. So I'm enjoying my one garden bed where things are coming up, but it's gonna be very slow because if you know, plants need specific amount of sunlight, uh, water, all of that to grow um, at a faster rate. We don't have that. We have coolness and very short amount of sunlight time. Primarily, I'll be focusing on my chickens throughout the winter and uh, just enjoying time, relaxing, planning for 2023 garden. I am so excited for that. I have already have some thoughts about it, what I wanna do, and I believe I'll have all my garden beds to plant in um, in 2023, but we'll see. I'm down for sharing if I need to share, um, but I love this right here. It brings me so much peace, so much joy, even though that it's hard work sometimes and doesn't pay off. I love it a lot. I'm so excited to harvest this compost in spring, put it all in my garden so my plants have nutrients and have so much food to grow and produce food for me. Honestly, I feel like people find it gross that you put chicken poop in your garden and then it keeps the garden growing, then you eat chicken poop. You don't. You're feeding the soil. Then the soil feeds the plants and then the plants feed you. That's like a whole ecosystem. You're not eating chicken poop. Put it out of your mind. I'm sorry about this wind that's been going on. Um, as you know, I'm recording on my iPhone. I just wanna share my passion and encourage you guys to do what you love. 
put some, put your hands in the soil. You will feel so much better. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Go garden a little. Bye.